Okay. Hey, we're gonna be live on Instagram right now. <laughs> gonna have some water. Are yes. you getting nervous? I'm always nervous. You are. Showtime! No, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm awful. I think it's like. All right, we have glass between us. We've been social distancing. We're all masked up, and uh, we're trying to make it work here. So that we can talk to Edison. Hi, my name's Edison. Sunny Bach is behind the camera. We also have Brandy. James Beach is, I would say, I would say baby. Brandy's an iconic canine that is, will be here every single day to come visit. <laughs> yeah. Look, we're making a barrier so that you guys can so, unmask, um, I guess. James and Daniel are making it safe. They haven't opened yet during the COVID, uh, their patio dining, even though... Open. Safety first. Safety first. They have new fans. Look, they have new tables. They brought in glass. Not plexi, but glass to protect us. This is... Uh, what is this? Tempered glass. Safety glass also. Safety glass. And by the way, we're just thinking about this, but possibly if we were on a date, we could have a date like this. <laughs> we should put magic mar on like the magic marker so you can oh be I love you and practice it going backwards. Oh, you know? Gina says uh, hi, Danny, and Attaway says hi. Hi, guys! Hey, Attaway! <laughs> hey, Gina! <laughs> oh my gosh, yay! So we're in a safe cocoon here. And oh, Attaway! Attaway, yes, Attaway was at the first. Hi, Brandy. Brandy, hi. you're not wearing a mask. <laughs> she goes, oh. She, she's safe. So now do you feel safe behind the glass? I, I feel safer. <laughs> you do? <laughs> oh yeah. So, I don't uh, know if any, if we, we any of us ever feel safe. Thank you for bringing yeah. it. Oh, well, we're, here, we're now we can until, see your beautiful uh, faces. We have a change in administrations before we feel safe. So. Well, you guys, it's going to be uh, 10 years in on August 20th that the art crawl has been around in Venice. That's kind of shocking, yeah. isn't it? It's and, and it happens to be on my birthday, and which is a total weird pinky dink because we chose the third Thursday of every month. Actually, this is one of the original art crawl shirts. And uh, the only reason we chose third Thursday was it didn't interfere with Friday and Saturday, and third Thursday was memorable. So alliteration: third T H I R D Thursday. <laughs> yes, that's, yes, it's called, that's what it's called. Isn't it? Something like that. Anyway, so, you just rolled off the phone. And uh, we should talk about how this all started. Right. Do, you, do you remember? I, you know what? Okay, so Attaway um, says, "I miss you, all family." Oh, Attaway, we miss you. We miss you. Um, <laughs> but it all started. Well, it, oh, okay. It, I mean, it, it's it started because there was a need. Because, um, you know, a it, it, long time ago, more than 10 years ago, artists sold their their art on the boardwalk. You know, they had little tables and they sold their art. And then a, uh, what happened was vendors came on and were booting them off the boardwalk. And essentially artists, uh, local artists, you know, and we're not talking about famous artists, we're talking about, you know, up and coming artists, essentially had no place to showcase their work to lots of people. And so uh, I remember they, a group of artists came to the Venice Chamber of Commerce and complained and asked if there was anything that could be done. And that took the germ of, a, of an idea into our heads, you know, essentially that uh, well, maybe there was a way to create an event that uh, facilitated a, a local artists to be able to show their work. Because, you know, essentially, this is what I always would say, but Venice is an estuary of creativity. And we have an obligation to maintain Venice as being that. So uh, we already had the art uh, walk, which was w more famous artists. But what we were trying to do was create a, a mechanism for local artists to be able to exhibit their work. At, in the beginning, it was every month, so, you know, because they needed to pay the rent. So that's, that's kind of how it started. And then, uh, 
I think uh, what I recall, I, this was, okay, so August 19th was the third Thursday that um, we had the, the event. And I think, um, I don't know how long it took us to organize the first art crawl. Was it eight weeks, six weeks? It was really fast. It was really, really fast. Really fast. I was, um, uh, I was on the Venice Chamber of Commerce at the time on the board, and so was Daniel at the time. And I joined Daniel's boardwalk committee because I live and work and play on the boardwalk. So I was like, okay, so I'll just join the boardwalk, see how I can participate. We started talking about, same thing about the artists, um, First Fridays, downtown art walk, and I, and artists not having places to um, showcase their, uh, their art uh, locally. So I remember after, for my, what I, uh, what I remember is uh, after the meeting, we, the meeting took, uh, and has been taking place at James Beach in the, in the clubhouse for years. So we walked out and exactly here on this patio, we stood right behind Sunny and we talked about all of it. Downtown Art Walk, the Venice Art Walk, people who wanted um, space or couldn't find spaces on the Venice Boardwalk. And, um, and then also First Fridays. First Fridays started about 2006 or 2007. So First Fridays was taken, right? And so we just started talking about that. And then, and then so, and at that same time, I remember, um, so okay, that was the initial conversation. And then Daniel and I started a, an email thread, and then he reached out to he reached out to Parks and Rec, um, Sidewalk Cafe, because uh, we had the initial first meeting was at the Sidewalk Cafe, right. and you brought in different like artists. Myself was there, James was uh, you were there, uh, Victor for Parks and Rec, uh, Mark was there, Jacob wow. Peter. Um, I you can't. Have a good memory. And then LA, yeah, because it was it was just happened so fast, so. So it was like either the next day or the same week, like we were working fast and Michael knew oh Michael Newhouse was there, he also was also a founder. So we started talking about names. And he, because of Venice Art Walk, he's like, We already have Venice Art Walk. And um so right, like, you we need must... to crawl before you walk. <laughs> yes, yes. Hence... So hence the Venice Art Crawl. Yes. And then Mike Newhouse, so um Fresh. We just all started brainstorming because the idea was great. Because not only did it help the artists, it also, you know, there's also a safety issue on the boardwalk and, and light, and that was like well, all that was discussed. That was a big thing. So, at that at that time, it was actually kind of dangerous down by the boardwalk. Not that that's not anymore. Yeah, it's actually but uh, but it was no, much no, more so no, there. <laughs> and the, the local um, uh, restaurant tours and stuff like that wanted to get people down there during the winter time. And so they would support us, you know, essentially give us money and stuff like that to help do this type of thing. And then actually, the, I remember the first one, I mean, there were just tons of people down oh there. Gosh. And, you know, and, and the, the community was came together and uh, essentially, you know, took back that part of the yes. neighborhood that was theirs. And it was like, this is beautiful down here. The air is so clean and it's like, <laughs> Oh, we can walk down here and not feel afraid. Yeah, and it yeah. really started the reclamation of you know the boardwalk and stuff for the people who lived in Venice. You know, it was really kind of a multi-tiered. And I do love that art crawl was much like a pub crawl, also. You know, yes, yes, so, yes, yes. Because you went from one destination to the other. So essentially, what we ended up doing, and it was very much uh, uh, modeled to a certain extent to the downtown art, art yes. walk, which was essentially artists would take any space that was available, uh, you know, a parking lot or a garage or whatever, and showcase the work. And that's what we ended up being, which was sort of matchmakers, you know, and uh, it, it really was almost like an army. We, 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 were, we, we had maps, we had oh, yeah. precincts. <laughs> we, had, we had badges. And it was all, everything was homemade. Like I had a, what do you call those, um, laminators. We, we created all our badges. Daniel was making uh, all the maps for the entire okay. year. We'd be like, where's the map? And he's like, I'm working on it like every month. We're like, where's the map? I'm working on it. And you know, he magically had it done. It was pretty No, incredible. it was funny because it, it kind of was like an R from comic was the map. You know, I used that kind of style. And, uh, and I'm, pretty illiterate when it comes to computers and stuff like that. So essentially it was like, well, I'll Xerox this and I'll cut it out and I'll glue stick it to this. And I, well, I remember taking it to 
control printing to have it printed. And they said, oh my God, everybody come over here. This is how they used to do it a long time ago. <laughs> funny so that's why we work together so he like I'm a little computer savvy <laughs> and so that same day from the sidewalk cafe again that happened like within a week from that initial meeting at James went to the sidewalk and had that big meeting and then that day was the the name of the the we just uh the name was Venice Art Crawl, and then Mike Newhouse, bringing back Mike Newhouse, is uh, fresh art, fresh air, fresh art, because we were by the beach. That was the tagline that was on the computer, uh, or on the, the, the first flyer, uh, or the first, not the first flyer, I'm sorry, the first flyer to try to get artists engaged and, that, and, and the community engaged. So me being computer savvy, I, that same day, because he said Venice Art Crawl, I went home. I went to Yahoo Domains, and I went, VeniceArtCrawl.com. It's available. Bought it. <laughs> and then using Yahoo Site Builder, built the domain name, created the flyer, and through social media, I think, because social media started happening around that time. Like, Facebook was popping. And I think, with, right? Don't you think? Like, because of... It was way, way long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a... Oh, my gosh. Are we aging? <laughs> no, and you know what? I'm digging. I, I hate to say it, but that I'm actually so close to you right now and feeling safe. And, like, we're not wearing masks, you know? And this is safe. I want to hug him. <laughs> we I know, I, I, I'm thinking we, be, you know, we, we all are creative people here at Venice. It's like, you know, people take this for what it's worth, you know, we'll see. But maybe people can start dating like this. Yes. You know, mean, where essentially, they, or even that, like, if you aren't in your bubble and you want to meet somebody else from another bubble, you know, but you need to do it in a safe way and you can't, you, maybe this is the answer. I don't know. And, and kids are definitely all, always here. I say get those little magic markers. Not the magic markers. What are those markers that don't Yeah, make that, that, because some we markers. We could do these. I could do this. And you could put your hand here and oh then leave God. our mark. No, I mean, like, and then high do, and yeah. trying to write things backwards, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll learn how to do it backwards because high, it has to be backwards. Yes, So we're backwards. actually building brains here at James Beach. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm, like, we're... we're, we're Finding new things right at this moment. And that's what the Venice Art Crawl is all about. Is just God. Venice is so incredible. It's the people and and our imagine like our minds. We just we can create things. Well, it's, it's always I don't know what it is. I, it's, I was once told it's the negative ions coming from the ocean <laughs> that you know uh, supports creativity here. Uh, I, I don't know, but uh, it. It's always been a place, whether it's the beat poets or you name it, you know, the, uh, Janis always, Joplin and the, the Doors and God knows how many creative people, you know, Ed Ruscha and, you know, all the tons yeah. of artists, you know, generation after generation after generation now into, you know, Googles and, you know, Snaps and God knows what else, you know, there, yeah. there's just creativity here. And I think there's just something about and a, and a free spirit, you know, which is what we uh, were hoping to foster and continue to help support. That was the idea. And I have to say that uh, there were so many great aspects of it, and I hope we can find some pictures of it. So for instance, uh, you guys came up with this, uh, you and Alex, Art Alley. So yeah. speedway between Venice Boulevard and um, uh, Danny's was, uh, Winwood, Winwood, Winwood. Yes. was Art Alley. And essentially, yeah, you know, cool. so remember, this was not the safest area, and you would be walking down this dark alley, and then people had art exhibits all through this alley. It was unbelievable. Yeah. That was, you're talking about the first night, or just like leading up all the months? Like, it, I, well, it, it, the first night, but, uh, but, and then successive months, of course. Yes. And, and remember, we did this every month, so as soon as it was done, we were looking to marry people together with spaces again. I mean, uh, Jules Muck did uh, the skateboard park. She was down in the bowl. I bought one of her paintings that night, I remember. And uh, it was, yeah. I, I mean, it was a happening. It was an, an amazing I gotta say, experience. that had to be the first ever art art, art show at in the skate park. <laughs> I, I think the first and the last. You know, I don't oh, yeah. think we've had an art show there, but we should, because people would go walk down into the skate park and they would look in different areas at the paintings she had. And it, it was really unbelievable. And just, and there was funny lights that she had up and stuff. And it was just really, 
kind of a magic experience? Yeah, the first night was pretty incredible. I remember like um, uh, Venice Originals had uh, Jeff Ho. Venice Originals had Jeff Ho uh, there. Um, Venice uh, Historical Society had, had the rooftop at high, at high rooftop lounge. Um, so you like literally within again like the six to eight weeks somehow we organized it through social media and email blasts and posters and flyers like and, and t calling people and, and, and also I, I will tell you one of the secrets I think was that we did a lot of our meetings over at Canal Club yes which you know, was now going to be Opsi and uh, I remember that night but one of the things that helped get people especially artists there is we gave out cocktails and had hors d'oeuvres <laughs> So, oh. <laughs> so essentially, we were doing this like, yeah, bring them a bunch of cocktails and stuff like that, or you know, it was like a, and it, they, we did have a pretty famous happy hour there also. So, oh, but I mean, you know, we essentially bribed people to get involved through through alcohol. Well, if we could go back in time, ten years, uh, can't believe ten years ago, but uh, like he's bringing up, this is so fun, by the way, like just going back in time because COVID is kind of. A roller coaster ride, but um, this is. Yeah, I just yeah. want to do this. Don't don't break the glass. <laughs> I got fingertips. <laughs> but yeah, when he's talking about those happy hours and those first initial meetings, like that first. So it was James Beach, the big, then the Sidewalk Cafe, then we went to the Canal Club for the first ever um, meeting with engaging artists, mm -hmm. homeowners, the community, mm -hmm. local business, local businesses. And so there's got to be about 50 or 60 people in the back room of the Canal Club. And yes, you know, uh, his famous margaritas and like sushi lined up like the tables. So it was a good time. And everybody was excited to be, you know, and do things and, and, and connect. And here's James. And here comes James. Hi. Hi. Just, oh, here's sorry. Here's And here's James. And there's the your hour. margarita. I'm going to um, get you Windex unless you want it to look like Midnight Express. <laughs> It's okay. This, but uh, this is so cool. Isn't it because cool? we are able to use our masks on either side of this with our big fan blowing, and essentially. Wow. Yeah. Bye, nice. Brandy. Hi. Are you leaving Hi. us? Hi. We're talking about uh, the, art the, art the art crawl and the art crawl's tenth year and is this year. Yeah. Muscle talk. Do you remember <laughs> the first one? I do. I do. What's yes, your we had, favorite? Um, I remember Patrick Iconis and uh, DJ Newmer, wonderful, right? They, oh, yeah. And um, they were in the back right oh, here. Yeah. And there was a DJ and an art, of course. And that was one of the pop-up galleries that, that appeared here. We, Hi, I wanted to give you a uh, and I, I know, I remember art, that so I'm fun. going to have to see if I can find some pictures of, I don't know if you remember, the, the, gas, the gas station. Yes, was, I have pictures. Okay, yes. so uh, Voltaire, our, uh, who has safety bar, yes. uh, we talked to him and, uh, and I said, how would you like if we could use your gas station? It was an old gas station that they used for parking lot for this art crawl, and he totally got into it. And, uh, and th that became so fabulous. And of course, then I think Jules uh, painted some of the, uh, the yeah, gas the pumps. Gas is still there. So there, you can walk on over there. I feel like it's the, those gap, like uh, where you pump the gas, those gas holders, they're still. Are they still painted? Yeah, it's, so it's right across from Hotel Irwin on Venice Way Pacific, right across from Venice Way Pizza. I mean, it really was like a fabulous event. And in the Irwin, they were having a DJ. Dusk, and they had the downstairs, they, they the DJ. Had, they had a DJ outside. And uh, literally, you'd Sidewalk see all your friends, and yeah. uh, it was just wonderful. You know, it was just a super community thing. And it really did help people meet artists, have artists supported in the community. And it was just I think, great. Yeah, it, it connected. Trying, it was I, like a, it, it connected us. Not only people were having group shows, people were looking forward to the next one. Like, the, I remember our neighbors were like, when's the next one? And it was quite fun to see like that same day. Cause like I walked, like I rode around my tricycle and then just taking photos and you just see like people holding those maps and Isabella did yeah, the first yeah. first map and so you see our gorillas on these maps and people are looking to go to the next location sidewalk cafe Maui and, and things, things were like hidden away them. so for instance I remember Tony Bill uh, across oh, the street yes. on Market Street had 
had upstairs. Attaway was at that one. Bill Attaway, and I actually, yeah, I, I, we used to have it right there. It's in the back. It's the most beautiful flying fish. And I saw it and I fell in love with it and I bought it. And uh, I'm going to bring it out just to show you. <laughs> so, hold on, talk to Edison. Oh gosh, I'm by myself. No. Just, just you and me, Edison. <laughs> okay, so, how's the hair? All right. I am the worst. Okay, is this still live? <laughs> okay, so let's remember that night. Um, so let's recount the history. Ten, ten years ago, it was August 19th. So August 19th was the first initial date. Uh, um, let's see, there had been 30 artists. Oh, let's go back to the Canal Club with the first meeting with all the artists, the community. So who was there? Your very own Sunny Bach was there. We had Isabella. We had Jason Moore. We had tons of artists. Um, Casey could have been there. Um, uh, uh, what? Well, anyways, but Sunny. Oh, Mark. Mark. Ro you can't forget Mark. Mark Rojas. Mark Rojas. Now that guy. So we can't forget that guy. Yeah. Oh, and, I and he was <laughs> a super. Oh. You can see that? Ah! Isn't that fabulous? Mm. Attaway's and been this, on these the... These are pieces of skateboards. You can oh. actually see on the Is back. that from Attaway? Yeah. This is Attaway Fine Art. 2010. Oh, wow! That's incredible. I love that. Wow. So that's from the first year of the art ten, ten years ago. Oh, Is that... <laughs> ten years. He had the most fabulous studio where I guess just this, right? Wasn't it uh, or near one of those studios where it just is? It was yeah, yes. Wasn't Attaway's studio kind of where uh, Justa is? It was I'm next sure door to Justa. Yeah. I think it was down uh, a couple of stores. Yeah, See, just a few when, doors I down. That's where you get sad, like so things started changing. I'm, I'm trying to think uh, of favorite things from the art crawl because the, and the art crawl evolved also so in the beginning it was every Thursday a uh, third Thursday so every month we did it and we oh, we were getting like so many volunteers and stuff Lisa Wilson. tied by alcohol and food mm -hmm. and um, one of my favorite meetings was everybody knew sat in a circle in the back of the canal club and it just we went one by one, and just each one asked a question. And by the time, and then we answered the questions, by the time they reached the end of it, that was the end of the meeting. Every question had been answered, and it was like this kind of magical little thing. You know? But I'm, I'm just trying to think, I mean, like the gas station was one of my favorite things, you know. Uh, it, it, it was be crowded with people and stuff. Art Alley was another one. Oh, you know with who was in Art Alley that was uh, visually, I can remember, ICU Art was Stash. Uh, he was also the curator for the Venice Art Walls for a long time, and he participated in the first night, a uh, few nights also, and he had murals. He had standing murals, so you'd see this guy, I think it was behind Jody Moroni's a few times on that, and then people would uh, also, um, like uh, the buildings, we would have artists paint or, you know, like paint on, on their garage doors, and I think my favorite thing about the art crawl, again, it's just, it's the community and, and being creative and, you know, growing as a unit and as a team. And I think that's what, for me, it was all about. Um, I they, think, yeah, I think in a funny people. way, yeah. uh, after this COVID thing done, you're going to see such a need for people to come together uh, that uh, you'll see a rebirth of this kind of uh, activity. Uh, what was I just thinking about? Yeah. Uh, it was so great. Um, now I forgot. I lost my train of thought. Uh, let's see what. Let's what. Uh, the rebirth. The COVID. COVID nineteen. Like, uh, how are you? How are we? How are you feeling? Like, how are we? Well, I, I think everything's virtual. Everything's virtual until uh, during one filming session they discovered this kind of thing, and then it changed the whole world. You know, like how people can come together again. It's just with a piece of glass. I'm telling you, you got to bring the markers. Kids, guests. Learning how to write I love you backwards will bring memories. One <laughs> second. I don't know. I think it's, 
you know, he's doing James and Daniel for, you gotta give it to them, like, uh, outdoor dining has been in full effects for about a month now, and they've, didn't open. They're still open for takeout, but they're keeping everything safe. They're trying to make it, um, you know, just safe for all of us. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, this? Yes. Well, it's, yeah, we're almost there. Uh, we're waiting to see what the California numbers are. Uh, since they miscounted it by a few hundred thousand, we're going to see. And then if it feels good and we got all of our stuff together, we'll open the patio. That would be good. But back to our crawl, because like, you know, so there, <laughs> So I like thinking about those first days and all those, like, you know, because it's, I forget. So just kind of remembering some of that stuff. And then it evolved, you know, it yeah. went into other areas. So for instance, down by Bank of America, down that alley started being some things I remember. Oh yes, that was with Scott Mahoney. And it's like almost like a, the Burning Man crew came together and they started building like large installations right by, by Windward Avenue. And even the storefronts, so Bank of America, the, the parking lot was full. Gotta have it, had something going on, Cafe Collage, <laughs> hum, like Hama Sushi opened up her, 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 uh, her, her parking lot. By the way, they're open for business right now, they opened up a uh, the Hama Garden beer garden. <laughs> just letting you know. <laughs> so that night, yeah, the Wisconsin Mahoney and that crew, they just built large installations mm -hmm. and very interactive, uh, interactive like you just well, pieces. And it's very cool. And talk about some uh, evolution of the art crawl was bringing in bringing together the uh, Burning Man people with the art crawl because that was a big, I thought, a big innovation of the art world. It was the, one of the yeah. big steps because oh, yeah, yes. we had this whole community within the community that uh, essentially we wanted to connect together and it, it worked. You know. Alex wants to place an order of fried chicken, I bet. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, close. Hey, Alex, I'm still here. Oh, <laughs> we, we can oh, also start sorry. eating. I'll get you your fried chicken. And that will drive everybody crazy because fried chicken is so darn good. Actually, it's, it's all good. It's fried chicken night every Thursday. This yes. is our thing. I mean, because, you know, we're not doing 100 people or 150 people night. So we can focus on little things and making it, you know, just so much better. It's, it's great. So we do, now we can do the fried chicken every night because we're not cooking all this you know, other stuff as much. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. Uh, <laughs> And I'm an eater, and it's two, three, four <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> so, so I'm talking. Oh, art crawl, yeah. Back, Back to, to the, the art crawl. crawl. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Okay, so those early days, favorite things. Then, uh, what were the steps that? So eventually, how many years did we do it every Thursday? Was it two or three? Probably three, three. to four. It was. Three. It was pretty. It was the three. It was. That was. It ended up being. I know that because this is an all volunteer organization, and so like to do it every month, that was a lot of work. We were, it was, yeah, and um, I, I yeah, just remembered now, another one. Oh, go ahead, go, go. Do you remember uh, Market Street for Christmas? So, oh, one yes. of the ideas we had December lights, December lights. So, one of the ideas was that uh, I don't know. If everybody else likes it, but you know, no, getting in your car and going down uh, Christmas Tree Alley or whatever street that is in your part of the country that always had, was decorated. I said, for December, why don't we do that same thing on yeah. our Oh yes, and uh, that it was unforgettable because I, uh, by that time, I think, or it may have been segueing into the uh, Burning Man people, but there was so much digital art. Um, Mark Farina. Digital, digital Mark mapping. Farina, was the one, yeah. Um, and in fact, um, yes. Bill Rosenthal was there that night. And there's some great video of him. And he gave all of us uh, awards yes. for doing this crazy ass. Uh, uh, David Sunnybach, of course, was there. Let me just say, like, some of the original uh, volunteers or the, the committee that, like, like this, the team. Dana Samico, myself, Mike Newhouse, Daffodil, Lisa, Wilson Ross, Ramsey, <laughs> um, uh, David Zentz, uh, Aaron was there, um, who else? 
I don't want to forget anybody because everybody put so much effort and energy into the art crawl. And again, we all volunteered. <laughs> yeah, that night. Yeah, Bill Rosenau came and, and loved it. He walked Market Street and it was the art gallery that used to be, was that beside Nikki's? That's where he gave us the awards. Yes. And yeah, and then and he sat was on a the car art crawl. parked in front of it. And the skate car, Ross's skate car. Okay. Yes. I, I, but, and you know, and the only reason I know this is because I'm taking moments in time with my camera. So if anybody wants to review all of it, go to DennisPopper.com. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we need to do a, a collage of, or, you know, some sort of. Uh, the art crawl through the years, you know, essentially, yeah. because somebody, I think it's inspirational for, especially at a time like this where, you know, you don't feel like you can even commune with other people, you know, it's everything through a mask or a wall or something, you know, that this was a place where a community really communed, you know, and came up with the most eclectic and clever things and, and ways to showcase their creativity, you know. I, I remember walking down Market Street and just, being amazed, I mean, truly yeah. amazed at what people did. There, there was technologies I've never seen where you, you could touch yeah. a wall and, and make something wall, happen. Wall, and I don't know how that how they did that. It, they projected something on the wall, and you could touch the wall, and it did something. You know. Well, the funny thing was with uh, Daniel. I actually remember when he texted all of us, and he was like, "Look at this digital art," and um, it was uh, Mark Rojas and um, who else was there? It just got a ton of projections. Grant was there. Yeah, it was it was an incredible light night light night. And and there oh. were like there were also parties oh, throughout yes. the neighborhood. So part of the art crawl Video was artists. that there were parties during the art crawl. Although generally people wanted to see all the art, and you could never see it all. I mean, you know, there there were forty different exhibits. The art crawl went from I don't know what time you know from six to ten. Six to ten. Moved, like then there was after party after after parties. So City and then Army, there were townhouse, Danny's, oh, sidewalk cafe, live music, you name it. There were tons of after parties, and that was so much fun. Also, I mean, mm -hmm. I remember going to and again, you know, one of the cool things about Venice is there's all these nooks and crannies, these little hidden places. So you would go down and find somebody's studio where they were having this wild party. You know, and on Market Street there was one I remember. I mean, they were just everywhere. Yeah. You know, it was just totally fun. Yeah. It was 2010 was a fun year. Well, that, 11, that, 12, that was 13, 14. That was, you know, and they kept going. Yeah. That was past. It was even yeah. more past 2010. Yeah. It was, uh, you know, 2011, 2012. You know, maybe even 14. And then, um, you know, I, I think we also started getting people from uh, the Kinney wanting to participate mm -hmm. and from. Like all the different areas, you know, so it, it began to kind of spread out and it became so, you know, yeah, big that it was a lot, you know, it was not possible to do it every third Thursday. So then it became every third Thursday of every third month. <laughs> yeah, every quarterly, it was a quarterly event. It became quarterly, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, keeping the thirds and uh, which worked out really well. So, yeah. And now, uh, Mar Vista. Has been working together with the art yeah. 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 And uh, Sunny, thanks to Sunny, who has kept this vision and um, this events alive. Uh, thank you, Sunny, yeah. for all your energy and um, again matchmaking and um, coordinating and creating and you know keeping keeping us together. That's thank well, you. But also understanding that Sunny's so great about this is like the evolution of of need. You know, I mean, at that time, you know, we, was we, there was a need. There was yes. a need that related to the boardwalk, not being able to sell the boardwalk. Or, you know, we're trying to maintain our art community in Venice and giving people a place to showcase, you know. And because Venice is such a great, iconic name, that if you were a Venice artist, you know, it actually meant something. You know, you, it's like being a Parisian artist or, you know, like, I, I'm an artist in Venice. You know, it's different than being an artist in Chatsworth. Not, no, no disrespect to Chatsworth, I'm sure, but you know, it just was. Venice is a famous place, you know, and so you really wanted to be a, a Venice artist, and you wanted to promote Venice art and stuff like that. And uh, I'm, now I'm going to have to meditate in terms of some other things that were like, you know, December nights or uh, you know, the gas station or yeah, you know they, the. They yeah, Bank of America was right. Bank of America under uh, Hotel Irwin, they always housed 
many artists, and the skate car was there on numerous occasions, um, and DJs, like, so all kinds of art forms, and whether you're an artist on the boardwalk or just starting out, or someone like Daniel Samaka, who's an artist, he, he showcased his work all the time. Um, we had just everyone, it, 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 was, it was a good, and that's like, and like Venice, you don't know who you're, you know, uh, walking or on the beach, walking along the beach, or it could be, you could be working with an, a lawyer or, or a carpenter, or it's just like different ranges of, of everyone who was, was part of it, I felt. It was well, really good. And then I was fun. thinking also, and Sunny, you were, you know, working with the people from Burning Man, creating the Afterburn oh, here yes, in Venice. That's, that's that was really an art call. Uh, inspired? It was certainly art crawl inspired and art crawl partnered, you know. I mean, that was that's an art crawl event, you know. So essentially, you know, having uh, the Burning Man people, you know, this history of showcasing art in Venice, you know, facilitated to a certain extent, I would imagine, that whole thing which has happened now for I don't know how many years. And every time I go down there to see the afterburn, I'm just blown away, you know. Yeah, and, uh, you know, once again, it kind of shows all the creative artistic things that come out of the cracks of Venice, you know. I mean, as we have a gentrification of Venice and worry about becoming a little mundane, you know, it's things like that that suddenly you go, okay, there's still creativity in the cracks. You know, there's still stuff going on. There's still people doing stuff. And maybe it's digital, maybe it's painting, maybe it's sculpture. But it's still happening. Uh, it, it, it has it's the negative ions, I'm so pretty sure. What's that? The negative ions from the, the negative ion, yeah. <laughs> I'm only feeling the positivity. Oh, okay. it's like, <laughs> and then the smell. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> right, so and Sunny, you probably know better than anybody, but um, like you know, as it's evolved, I know what you know, we started with the idea of creating an arts district down here to help facilitate mm. Uh, you know, artists being able to afford housing down here and things of that ilk, and uh, possibly repurposing. So this was sort of the next idea generation of things that was coming, which was repurposing uh, Venice Boulevard, which was the entranceway into Venice, as being dedicated to art. And some of the ideas I remember that were talked when I, uh, like Judy Baca from uh, uh, Spark, you know, uh, she showed us these uh, big stretchers that could be uh, put in between uh, North and South Venice and having billboard art like along that. That was a thought. And then uh, I, you know, making the, uh, the little park by the library into a sculpture park. Yeah. You know? And because essentially, you know, again, it's always about getting people to see art. So, you know, one, you know, it used to be the only thing that was important was the boardwalk. You know, people came to the boardwalk to have Now people come to Abikini, but it would be great to use that draw to showcase art. And that was the idea of hopefully, you know, because the park comes right up to Abikini, and then using the, the library as maybe being multi-purpose for, for historical museum or art museum or, you know, and I, I still think that is percolating, that uh, concept is percolating. I think everything's kind of come to a level of a home right now. Like, uh, like, a, uh, like the crawl, crawling. Um, last year there was the, the Mark Lake, so the Mar Vista and the Venice Art Crawl. I'm looking at Sunny. Should I be looking at the camera? I don't know. Okay, so the Mar Vista and the Venice Art Crawl, they hosted the, the get around. And so when you're talking about the Venice District and creating a line of art, it happened. So maybe yeah. it'll get bigger, like like in 2021. It was supposed to happen this past June, but 2021. Uh, that's a we did it virtually in oh, June. That's right. That's right. Yeah, from see, two to ten. Back to Venice Art Call Ar Archives. Yeah. Or the Mar Vista. On YouTube. Yes. Okay. Oh, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Good job. We got yeah. a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that they did have events no. along. Yeah. So that's just the like, the vision of that. Is just, you never know. We have. Well, I think, th so what's the important thing to draw from this is that anything's possible, number one, is that people who feel a need and believe in something and have, care about, you know, things of creativity and whatnot can facilitate making it happen, you know, and I think that's, if, if 
people who are watching this or will watch it take anything away from this is that people can come together, have crazy okay. ass ideas, and make it happen, especially in this part of the world. <laughs> and I and I think that, you know, because like I said, the need will change over time. So, you know, redoing exactly what we started isn't probably apropos, but you know, there are other needs that are going to happen, big needs coming up after all this is done. And people are going to need to come together and they're going to want to because they will create tremendous opportunity for people, you know, opportunity for people to see art and to come back together and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So take that from what we're talking I, about. I'm going to add on that. I suggest when everything is safe or even, um, you know, when you, when you open, again, I'm coming back to these glasses because I'm visualizing the, like markers, ideas. Like we are, we, the human mind can, it's incredible what we can, what you can think in here, we can bring out, right? So this could be James Beach. We can use this, have ideas, like have an idea on how, because what we love is Venice, what we love is art, what we love is to be together and we will be together soon. So it's a perfect opportunity. The needs have changed, but the glasses are here now. And this will spawn ideas. We'll, we'll see about, I mean, you know, so, <laughs> I'm like, so, so I keep coming back the, to that. The, the, the health department has certain guidelines. Oh. So for instance, between groups, you can have a divider like that. Mm -hmm. And it has to be a certain height, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a little bit makeshift. This is not, do not do this at home. <laughs> 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 Only let professionals do this, but uh, you know, but there, I, this is the germ of an idea too. <laughs> Anyways. Anything else? I have the. I like. I like how you finished it off with the takeaway. If you could take one thing away, and then you recap that. If no. you could take one thing away. Well, that you know, people can do things. People yes. can come together. I mean, people have power, you know. And interestingly, just friends can come together and create something, and it will. And it adds to their friendship, and adds to life, and adds to everyone's life. And really, out of a, the. the germ of the seed, you know, amazing things can happen and continue to happen 10 years later. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we'll see you, if you guys want to participate, either be an artist or volunteer or host an event, you know, post COVID, then um, contact Sunny, venicearthall.com. Yeah, we'll see you all on August 20th online here on Instagram live we're going to be streaming live from 6 to 10 we have all kinds of artists uh, showing and DJs from Burning Man and all kinds of really great stuff and we look forward to seeing you stay tuned on Instagram and on Facebook and we'll see you very soon third Thursday 6 to 10